What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon 11970 Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. I can't believe I'm actually doing a video about this, um, let's just say person. I'm going to post a link to a video below in the description. Um, I got this information from Corey C., so I want to give credit where credit is due for this story. But, um, G for T., and I hate even saying his name because he's so irrelevant to me, it's not even funny. I haven't watched any of his videos, nor do I want to. But supposedly, and I'm going to say allegedly throughout this video, because I can't confirm or deny what he supposedly did or did not do. So I'm just going to leave it at that because I'm not going to make any accusations for this idiot. But either way, whether it's true or it's not true, this is the type of people that people follow in this community. And I'm going to show the method to my madness in a little bit, so bear with me. Allegedly, G for T called in a bomb threat to a school. Serious enough that they supposedly arrested him. His bail was set at 5000 He paid the bail with his own money. Well, I'm sure it wasn't his own money. I'm sure it's donations that people were giving him. I don't know how much the bail was. I mean, I've never been arrested. I've never been to jail. I don't know how it works. I think it might be 10%. I don't know. But he paid for it. And then he goes on YouTube to the com truther community, to the vulnerable people, claiming to be a victim. Now, again, I don't go to his channel. I refuse to watch his videos. I just don't care. They're irrelevant. But Corey showed a little clip on his video where he's actually sitting in his car. He's crying that he could be homeless. He's crying that, you know, he needs help. He's desperate. Here's my PayPal account. Please send your donations. I can't afford the lawyer's fees. In other words, he's claiming to be a victim for something he chose to do, allegedly. Now, there are some people that are saying that the story is fake. I can't confirm either way, nor do I care enough to find out. But let's put it this way. If he did it, if he called in a bomb threat to a school, he's an idiot. He needs medication. He needs to be off YouTube. And he needs to be in jail where he can get psychotherapy. If he faked this to get attention so he can get donations, then he's a desperate idiot that deserves to be in jail so where he can get psychotherapy. And for the people, for the small amount of people who hate my channel, and they, they, some people will just hate no matter what somebody says. I mean, I could talk about kittens and some people will hate it. But you will never see a story like this from me. Because I am here, I might not get everything right. And I might not do everything in a way that you understand. But I would never stoop to that level to get attention. I think it's embarrassing for this community. Now, here's where my method of my madness of this whole purpose of this video comes into play. On April 1st, I made a video. It was 28 minutes long. I did an April Fool's joke, doing a whole thing saying that I was going to be working for Disney, making, selling t-shirts, writing a book. I tried to make it so silly that most people would understand it beforehand. But at the end, it shows that it was an April Fool's joke. I also wrote in the description of that video, and it's still there for you to verify. Because some people said, oh, you wasted 28 minutes of my life. That's that's good. You know, if you're spending 28 minutes of your life watching me, you know, and it's wasting your life, then, you know, go exercise, go cure, create a cure for cancer, do something positive. But if somebody would have taken 20 seconds to read the description, it also said that it was an April Fool's joke. Now, I lost, um, I think, 32 subscribers on that video alone, on that day. I also gained about 85. So, it shows that there are some people out there who actually appreciate what my method is. And there was a method. It wasn't to piss people off. Although some people get that way because they react instead of think. The purpose of that video was not to make anyone mad. It was not to waste people's time. It was to get them to show them that even in this alternative media community, this truther community, 
that there are people who will get information inaccurate, get wrong information, maybe interpret the information wrong. Some people will flat out lie to you. And the only person that gets hurt is yourself if you don't verify. So that video, the purpose of that was, was to teach people to be diligent in where they get their information and they double check it. I mean, look at what's going on in the Bundy Ranch when I made videos about the misinformation that was going on because people were claiming, oh, a bunch of FBI agents, BLM agents, all were coming in and they're taking over the ranch again. Ends up it was a false statement. Not one person ever apologized for me actually exposing that. They chose to attack the fact that I called the source because, you know, I live in New York. I can't exactly hop on a bicycle and just go pedal over to Nevada. But they didn't like the way I did it, so instead of verifying it, verifying it themselves, they chose to attack me, which is fine. That's what some people do. But people need to verify information, so that's what that video was about, and that's why I decided to do that video. And I have no regrets for it. And I actually had some subscribers thank me, because they said now, when they watch a video and they're not sure about it, before they watch it, they hit pause, they read the description, just to be sure. That makes me proud. So the haters out there that don't like me, you could say whatever you want. You can make whatever false accusations you want, because when you tell the truth, you have nothing to hide. So all the people that make the, the accusations about me, first of all, there's nothing that you can say that I haven't already talked about. And any other stories, like I'm some government shill or something, yeah, there's nothing to verify it because they don't work for the government. But yet, the people who are in this community, and there are some very trusting people because we're trying, obviously people are here because they're tired of the mainstream media, they're tired of the governments, and they want to find a different way to get information. And unfortunately, the people who work for the government and the people who are stealing your money in mainstream have found that the alternative media is growing. So you will get people who will take advantage of that. And that's why there are people who talk about fear porn. There are people who like G for T who will beg for your money and cry victim, even though he allegedly, on his own free will, because I don't think if he did it, that somebody put a gun to his head and said, oh, I want you to call a school and threaten to bomb, and a, bomb a bunch of children. Otherwise, I'm going to shoot you. I don't think that was the case. Could be, but I doubt it. And he bails himself out and then cries victim trying to get people sympathy. And there will be people that fall for it. So to any of my subscribers or anybody that watches this video, if you are gullible and, and I'm sorry, dumb enough to give that coward money, if you're subscribed to me, unsubscribe. And if you're not subscribed to me, please don't hit the subscribe button because I don't want you here. You're part of the problem. We need to understand that governments, media, corporations, and now parts of the alternative media, there are people who will promise you the world. Look at, look at politicians throughout the world. When they need your vote or they need your money, they'll be out there on the front lines shaking their hands of the people, kissing the babies, Promising everything that you want to hear, getting the crowd riled up to the point where they're cheering, yeah, 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 you're amazing, you promised all this wonderful stuff. And when they get elected, they don't do anything, at least not the things they promise. And then they'll say things like, well, we're looking into it, and we're forming a, a committee over here, and, you know, we have other priorities, so we're going to get to that, we're going to get to it, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, nothing ever gets done. And this has happened time and time again, year after year. Decade after decade. And the people will do this. They'll cheer them. And you see these fear porn channels. That scare. <coughs> excuse me. Just choked. Scare the living crapola out of you. Just so this way they can sell you something. Now people can say to me, oh, you know, well, you sell your Oregon pyramids. Well, I do have my own business, yes. But please show me any video where I said, 
the sky's falling, you're going to die, there's poison everywhere, and the only thing that will save you is one of my Oregon pyramids. So if you buy one of my Oregon pyramids, your life will be saved. Here you go, here's how you buy them. No, you'll never see that. I have a business. First of all, I don't even remember the last time I made a video about them because I don't like to promote them too much. But I'm trying my best to stay away from corporations. I have my own businesses, which makes me financially independent of the system. My wife and I, when we go shopping, 90% of the food that we buy is from local farms, farmers markets. All of the products from my Oregon pyramids... All the products from my massage business, all the coins and this gold and silver I buy is all from individual people. They, you have to find a better way. But this G for T thing, I will never watch one of his videos. I don't understand why. But obviously he'll get more attention, whether it was fake or not. If he, if he, if he did it on purpose and he actually did a bomb threat to children... There's something mentally wrong with him. He's pathetic. He needs to go to jail, and he needs psychoanalysis. If he faked this story just to get attention so he can get more money and get more views to his channel, then he's unbelievably, unbelievably pathetic, and he needs to be in jail where he can get medications and psychotherapy. But obviously my video will probably get three, 400 maybe 500 views, where I'm sure his is going the thousands. And it proves that people love drama. Very few are here for truth. The ones that subscribe to my channel, maybe 15% of those people, are here for the right reasons. They want to be here because they're tired of the lies from the mainstream media. They're tired of the lies from the government. And they're trying to find other ways. And they know when they come here, I'm not here to take advantage of them. And trust me, I could do it easily. But just because you can doesn't mean you should. And I refuse to go to that level. And that's why I'm independent. And people can mock that all they want. And they can make fun of the fact that I talk about sun gazing. Well, you know what? I'm not trying to sell a book on sun gazing. I'm not trying to ask for donations to help me learn about sun gazing. I'm showing you how to do it. Because why? It can help you and it's free. And not one person that is legitimately sun gazing. I'm not talking about the idiots that think it's funny to say, oh, I'm blind. But the ones that actually sun gaze, not one person has ever said anything negative about it. The only people that ever say anything negative about it are people that are liars, trolls, and have never done it. Or totally did it the wrong way because they don't pay attention. You know, anybody can shoot a gun, but if you're stupid enough to shoot yourself, yeah, you're going to complain that the gun is dangerous. That's why I always said I don't believe in guns, but I believe in people's rights to have them. But a gun is not the, the, in, the weapon. It's the person that pulls the trigger. Because a gun can't get off a table and go shoot somebody. A person has to pick it up, aim it at somebody, load it, pull the trigger. So the gun isn't the weapon, it's a tool. It's the person. And there are people out there that'll flat out lie to you. Some get information wrong. I mean, look at my channel. I'm not perfect. I've gotten information wrong. Some of the things, like I get some of these trolls, they attack you if you do anything wrong. You know, I guess they expect you to be perfect, because I guess they are. That they expect, oh, as soon as you do something wrong, they're right on you to pounce on you. And they don't say, well, listen, I just wanted to let you know you did something wrong. This is how you correct it. No, they say, oh, you're an idiot, you're a liar, you're a paid chill. And then they get mad that I ignore them. I mean, if, if somebody came into your house, if you threw a party, somebody came to your house that you don't know because they came with a friend, and then all of a sudden they're criticizing how you decorated your house, calling you an idiot, saying you have no fashion sense, the, the beer is cold, too warm or the food sucks and this house sucks. What do you think you're going to do to that person? At the very least, you'll throw his sorry ass out. At the most, you might give him a nice little kick in the ass present goodbye. And then these people cry victim. But I mean, when you're talking about somebody like G for T, he's going to get thousands of views from this. And he's going to get money from people out there like you. Not my subscribers, because I know they're smarter than that. 
But is it any wonder and is it any coincidence? This is this shows that everything happens for a reason. There are no coincidences. Just yesterday or two days ago, I was making videos about fear porn and how people love drama. And sure enough, we get confirmation, well, allegedly, that g for t either bombed, a, uh, though I didn't bomb it, but threatened to bomb a schoolyard or faked the story, one of the two. I don't know. I don't care to know. It's not one of those things I'm going to search e deeper into. But it's going to be effective. He's going to get people to his channel. He's going to get people to watch his videos. He's going to get donations. People may not like me for some of my methods because they're different. But they're there to teach you to avoid situations like that. Because even in this alternative media, in this truther community, there are plenty of people that are drowning in good intentions. Or some of them flat out lying to you. And then there are some, I have i haven't made this statement in a while, because some people say, oh, well, I watch people like AJ. And if you've been watching in this community, you know who AJ is. And they say, oh, well, he gives information, he helped wake me up. Well, he helped to wake me up, too, in the beginning. But this is a sentence that I will say to people that will make sense to the smarter ones. If you have, and I've said this dozens of times, I haven't said it in a while. If you have 99 pounds of ice cream, and you mix in one pound of dog crap. What do you have? Well, you now have 100 pounds of crap. Because it doesn't matter that 99% of it was good, edible ice cream. The fact that you mixed in that 1% of poop taints the whole thing. And that's the same thing with information. Where they'll give you 90 95, maybe even 99% truthful awakening. I'm so glad I watched information. It's that 1% where they deceive you, either accidentally or purposely, that taints the whole thing. That's like somebody in the mafia or some crime syndicate or maybe just one criminal going around stealing and murdering from people and then taking some of that money and giving it to a charity. Yeah, that's good, and they may focus on that. But is that the way you want to view our heroes in this world? I don't. So I'll get my usual hatred from the few people who have nothing better to do. But no one could ever compare me to somebody like g for t I... Don't understand how somebody could be that desperate for attention. And it's going to work. That's the sad part. But it's not going to work on me. I'm not going to watch any of his videos. The only reason I even know about it is because somebody that I'm subscribed to made a video about it. And again, I will post in the description below if you want to watch it. And see for himself, yourself, that g for t at the very least, is crying victim so he's either making up an elaborate story to sucker people in, which obviously it's working, or he actually thinks that he's a victim in a crime he chose to commit, allegedly. Either way, that's a pathetic way to live a life. And I'm glad I'm not that individual. And I will not watch his videos, and I, he will not get a dime from me, because I'm much smarter than him. And I, and I, he's irrelevant to me. I hope he is for you. And I hope this video shows you that even in this truther community, in alternative media, there are people out there that you may trust, that you may like, that could at the very least get something wrong. And at the most, could be flat out lying to you to take advantage of you. If you do not do your research and you just listen to people without verification, in the long run, the only person you hurt is yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And don't forget to get your trolls spayed or neutered. This is Barnon11970 signing off. Peace.